As you can see, we're outdoors here now in my driveway. I have my Weber grill set up and we're going to grill some chicken drumsticks. But the reason why I wanted to video this was I wanted to show another way, a second way of cooking at the same time on the grill. I'm going to use my cast iron skillet in the middle of the grill and we're going to be cooking our vegetables in this. So let's get grilling. What we're going to grill with today is red oak. I have plenty of red oak and I'm going to use one of my homemade paper mache grill starters. This is paper mache soaked with paraffin. I don't have a video yet of making these, but I am planning to make a video on that. So let's get started, get the grill going. My friend Eric is going to start the fire for me. He's using a torch and he's starting one of the briquette, paper mache briquette starters. And then we'll be putting kindling wood on top of that. There it goes. So now that chimney starter needs to be packed with wood. That's the kindling. And then we'll be adding our actual firewood later on once this gets going. Our wood is starting to catch fire now. We're going to let this burn down. Take about half an hour to an hour before we're ready to cook with this wood. So there's our grill. The wood is inside the grill now. We can start preparing the chicken and the vegetables to go on there. So the chicken now is going on the grill. We've moved the firewood to the back of the grill so we can be cooking on indirect heat so that this chicken doesn't sear too quickly. And then I also have prepared barbecue sauce that'll go on to the chicken when we get near the end of the cooking time. And I'll explain that barbecue sauce when we get to it. So there's our food on the grill, chicken drumsticks, and we added some Italian sausages to that. When those are nearly done cooking, I'll put that cast iron skillet in that opening in the center, and that's where we'll cook our vegetables. With the lid closed, we're cooking it nearly at about 430 degrees. So it's definitely a good temperature in there for cooking our chicken. So there are our sausages. Those were done early, so we took those off. We'll return those to the grill later when the chicken is done. It's almost done. Now we're putting barbecue sauce on the chicken. I mentioned this barbecue sauce earlier. I have on my website in the basics section of the recipe archive a recipe for this barbecue sauce. It's delicious. I'm well known for this barbecue sauce. There are our vegetables. That's broccoli and Brussels sprouts and onions in that skillet. I've added some oil and I'm using some water with a lid on top when we use it to help to steam those to make them more tender. So here is our meat. The chicken and the sausages cooked and ready to eat. The vegetables were cooked in that skillet. We've set those aside. So here is the plate of food, of our grilled food. Eric is behind the camera, so I can't show you him eating the food, but can I taste the food as the plane is going overhead? Yes, I do live near the airport. Melt in your mouth tender. And that barbecue sauce, it gives it just enough flavor without overpowering the flavor of the chicken. Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of you hate Brussels sprouts, but I love Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Okay, excuse us, but we are going to enjoy our dinner.